Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am bringing you this look that I'm wearing today. A little bit more of spring inspiration that I wanted to bring you guys. So this is just a simple, super easy, like pink cranberry looking eye. So it's literally using like three colors and um, a nice pinky nude lip as well to go along with it. And I think it came out really good. So it's super easy look. And if you want to see how I got it, then just keep on watching. All right, going in with my Clinique Hydro Blur Moisturizer, I'm going to rub that into my skin and just prep my face for foundation. Then I'll be taking my Too Faced Born This Way Foundation in the shade Maple and a little bit of Tarte Maracuja Oil, and I'm going to mix those two together so I can get a nice hydrating application of my foundation. And I'll be using my Pure Skin Perfecting Blending Brush to blend all that out. Now I'm taking the remainder of my foundation on my pure blending sponge and I'm just going to add a little bit more hydration to my skin by bouncing that over top of the foundation just to kind of let everything melt in. Taking my Milani Retouch and Erase Concealer in Deep Honey, I'm going to start concealing the rest of my face. For a little more brightness under the eyes, I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in Medium Tawny and just taking that right underneath that Milani Concealer just to brighten up the under eye a little bit more and I'm going to blend all that out with my Pure Blending Sponge. While my beauty sponge is still damp, I'm going to take the Dermablend Loose Setting Powder and set all those places that I put concealer. Now I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette to set my base. I'm going to dip into raw sienna on this crown brushes, double ended brush and just set down my primer. Then I'm going to take Burnt Orange and this is going to be the transition shade that I'm going to start with to help blend the other colors out later. Now taking Red Ochre on this Elizabeth Mott blending brush, I'm going to take that shade right into the crease area. Now with a more precise blending brush, I'm going to take the shade Love Letter and blend that into the outer V area and slowly dragging it in once I have less product on the brush. Now dipping into Venetian Red, I'm going to take that on this flat Royal Lime Nickel Shading Brush. This I'm going to pack all over the lid. Since it's an almost satiny pink color, I thought it would look really nice all over the lid. To highlight underneath the brow bone, I'm going to take Golden Ochre. Since it's not too shimmery, I thought it'd be the perfect shade to highlight underneath the brows with. open up the eyes a little bit more, I'm going to take this Pacifica Natural Minerals Eyeliner in the shade Bare on my waterline. And then I'm going to go into Burnt Orange on the shader brush just to smudge that out on the lower lash line. And to add a little bit of that pink that we used before, I'm going to go in with the Love Letter on that same brush and blend that out just below Burnt Orange. And then to deepen it up just a little bit without adding too much smokiness to the lash line, I'm going to take Cypress Umber and run that underneath those shades with this double-ended pencil brush and blending that all out. And for inner corner highlight, I'm going to take the shade Tempura and pop that right on the inner corners. 
to prime my lashes, I'm going to take the L'Oreal Voluminous Base Primer and prime my lashes before going in with mascara. I'm not going to do falsies today, I'm just going to build up my natural lashes with the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. And I did the rest of that off camera along with my winged liner because it's really difficult to do that on camera, so I'm sorry about that part. To finish off the rest of the face, I'm going to take this Rimmel London Kate Sculpting and Highlighting Kit on an angled Lexi brush. I'm going to use that contour shade to contour or kind of bronze up the skin. So I started using the blush that came in the kit that I was using before, but I found that it had a little bit too much shimmer in it, so I decided to go in with the Pandora's Face Pink Carnation Blush instead because I wanted a more rosy, flush look to the cheeks. And then I went in with the highlight that did come in that kit and popped that on all the high points of the face, on the cheeks, Cupid's bow, you know, the usual. Now I'm aligning my lips with the Jordana Easy Liner Retractable Pencil in the shade Rockin' Rose. And the lip color I'm going to be going in today is Lolita 2 by Kat Von D. And that basically is it for this look, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look that completes this video. Super easy look like I said, only a few eyeshadows and you can really pull off this look. So even if you don't have the Modern Renaissance palette, any palette that has just like nice pinky tones, you can still do the exact same thing. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. Just comment down below some things that you would like to see on my channel in the future. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.